I recently got a bunch of stuff from Temu and also this, these little teeny tinies. So I already have the pretzel and I like the pretzel. I don't like the other piece. And I wanted the corn and the hot dog and I want a few of them so that I can make like part of my little picnic out there. I have steaks, I have chicken. I would like a few of these hot dogs. So I got four of these and luckily I did get the hot dogs and the corn. I have to admit, I felt the package up to make sure that I got the ones I wanted. And I did want the little teapot and cup because I already have one of those and the cups are the perfect size for Don Dolls. I don't know how much the teapot is, but the, the um, cup is just right. So I did make sure that I got one of the teapots as well. Then I started opening my Temu supplies and I'm very happy with a lot of the stuff that I got from Temu. So I, I always carefully cut just the smallest piece because I'm so afraid of cutting something. So I got the money from Temu and I'm comparing it here to the money from Mini Brands. And the money from Mini Brands is the new, the dollar we currently use. And the Temu money is our old version from, I don't know, like five, ten years ago. I know it wasn't too very long ago. I, I don't know if you hear my cat screaming in the background. I don't know what he's crying about. I've been in there three times and he, he wants nothing. <laughs> he's talking to somebody in the air. <laughs> So the money from Temu is, is thicker and kind of much shinier. So in my opinion, the mini brand's money looks more realistic. It just feels and looks more realistic. Okay, I got these tennis rackets and I love them. They are absolutely the perfect size for one six scale Barbie. The tennis ball, however, is way out of proportion. It's not, and it doesn't bounce, by the way. It looks a lot like a real tennis ball. It's just too big for these rackets. So I will probably attempt to make a smaller one. And in this package, so they had multiple things in here. I apparently double ordered and ordered another tennis racket, which is great because if I set up a scene with tennis, it kind of should have at least two people with rackets. These rackets are so good though, I may get more. They're really nice. I almost feel like if you had a real tennis ball, you could actually volley back and forth with these. <laughs> and I got, oh, so this is a tweed-like outfit. I think that's what it's made out of in real life. Anyway, it reminds me of Chanel. <laughs> it's a really pretty outfit with these decorative buttons. So it came with this little tiny top that will never fit <laughs> a Barbie, any of my Barbies old new doesn't matter so it does have velcro it's not lined but it is a thick material it's really nice almost like a miniature wool and i love the buttons especially it's very very classy this is an outfit if the skirt were a little longer i would wear myself we'll see how it looks on different uh, barbies so we'll i'll try it on all the sizes made to move classic I've uh, got these buttons, so when I sew a jacket outfit, I can have these really nice buttons. So you cannot get these at my goals or anywhere. And they're gold, and they actually are functioning. They have the little circle in the back that you put the thread through. <laughs> they're really nice. So I'm excited about that. And then I got this um, little... Oh, I got two things of the money. Darn. <laughs> okay. I really don't like the Temu money. I'm going to stick with mini brands even though it costs more. These were excellent. So these are carpets for the dollhouse. And like I have a furry carpet in one of my bedrooms that is, is really soft and plush and nice. And this is the perfect scale for Barbie. It looks just like that furry carpet I have in my room, only it's very thin, right? It's Barbie size fibers. And it really actually is, and it feels so good. It's really, really soft. So it's exactly what I thought it would be. I'm glad I'm not disappointed on this. It has a nice backing, you know, to keep it from being too flimsy, and it is super soft. 
So I already know the rooms that I want the small circle and the rectangle one in. I have a rectangular bathroom I made in one of my dollhouses. And it's where I converted one of the balconies into a bathroom. Just put up some walls and turn it into a skinny little bathroom. I'll show you that later. I'll put the carpets in there and show you. All right, so I think this is the the dishes. Let's see. Yeah, so these dishes I order because they're Dawn doll size, so they're perfect for Dawn. They're heavy. They're like metal. I think they're made out of metal. That's what it kind of feels like, painted metal. And the flatware is so pretty. It's a rose gold. So this is going to be, I'm going to set up a little table and put that together and we'll see how it looks with Dawn. We'll see the scale. And then these, I'm super excited about these. They're skirts, jean skirts, long jean skirts that came with like a little dicky tank toppy type thing. But the skirts, I love the details. I love that they uh, stitched up the front and the sides, even though, you know, it doesn't need to be stitching. It's just the details and the look. This little top will never fit a Barbie. I know it. I'll try it, but it's not going to fit Barbie. It is at best skipper size but the skirt is definitely a fit for barbie and then i just got the other color so that's a lighter jean and this is just a little darker jean it does feel slightly thicker than that other material and it has all the stitching and the details and a little slit in the front at the bottom not too ridiculous and it comes with another one of those little tops skipper size tops Okay, so that was the end of that package. Um, so now I'm going to try and dress up these hot dogs to look a little more realistic. And I'd like ketchup. I don't know why they just did mustard because everybody knows ketchup is good on hot dogs. I took some air dry clay and I rolled it out super, super thin. And I'm going to make onions because you have to have onions on a hot dog. I love lots of ketchup and onions. <laughs> I'm definitely not a mustard person on my hot dogs. So I get this as thin as I can and then just chop it like you would chop onions, you know, little tiny pieces and then drop them into the nail polish that I put on for ketchup and that'll help seal it. And I'll put some clear nail polish over this as well. And I may even add some more ketchup. So I'll make one really the kind of the way I eat it with lots and lots of ketchup. And onions so it's kind of hard to this stuff my air dry clay dries super fast <laughs> so now I'm just really loading the brush with lots of uh, I want to say ketchup nail polish <laughs> nail polish on it and so it kind of drops on it because otherwise it picks up the onions or the dry clay and I'll let that dry and now on this one, I want to, ah, oh, dang it. I want the mustard to still show. So I'm, I'm trying to carefully lay the ketchup next to the mustard. I don't want to get it on the bun really, because then you can see like it's a sort of clear and it doesn't look as much like ketchup. Yeah. And then the, when the clay started to dry, I realized that it was crumbling and I thought maybe let me just do crumbles on it. See, and they're kind of tinier. So that may have worked better, more realistic looking in size. This one, I'm just going to leave with the mustard. And now I'm going to, with the clay, pat it out and cut little pats of butter, little squares of butter size, like that would go on the corn. And I'm going to do two of them. I'm going to make one like the corn, the butter's already melted. And then the first two I will make with... Um, like the butter pat is in the process of melting. So I'm gonna have to sit it on there. So what I did was I took a glue gun and I put a little bit down there and I smushed it in it so it looked like the butter melting, you know, down the sides a little. And luckily I had this yellow nail polish <laughs> that actually um, was the same color, surprisingly. I mean, it just randomly had that in my cabinet and it worked out really well. So I just covered the butter and the glue, glue gun glue with the yellow nail polish. And this actually worked out the best with the food. It was very realistic looking. 
And I like that. That's going to look good with the dolls. Yep, just paint it on. I also, you can see in the background there, I attempted to make some um, tennis balls. I was trying to make my own. I made one smooth and then one I cut the lines in it. I was going to try and fill it later with um, the white stuff in the lines. Anyway, that's how it looks. Uh, it's very realistic. It looks great. I'm happy to have my corn on the cob for our little barbecue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know how these balls are going to turn out. So on the one that I just have like the butter already melted, I put the nail polish to it to make it look wetter, look more realistic, and just kind of draped it on like you would butter, really. And I think that's going to make this corn on the cob look more realistic because it'll keep that shine. That's the good thing about using nail polish. It's shiny. It stays shiny. I don't have to use any Mod Podge or anything after this. And I'll just show you, this did not turn out well. <laughs> so here's the tennis ball, and I painted it, and then I tried to give it that fuzzy look, so I put it in flaky, really tiny flaky glitter. And then I let that dry and painted over it again. And uh, now I can't make tennis balls. The buns, I wanted to make the hot dogs look more realistic, and the buns just look generic and weird. Usually buns have, you know, coloration. So I tried to paint some burnt sienna, which I feel is the perfect color, but the paint would not stick. So then I tried Sharpie, <laughs> which was turned out to be a similar color, but that just didn't look right. It, it wasn't blending well. I tried to put... Um, chalk pastels over it to kind of blend in the lines and that didn't work I ended up wiping that off because it looked like crayon, crayon pieces all over it so I did attempt to do that but then I came back and had to paint over that but once I'd done the marker then the paint stuck <laughs> so I went ahead I went ahead and did the marker you know all around the edges the sides I didn't do the bottom because I knew I wasn't ever going to really show that and yeah, this is where I didn't like it on the edge here. I just couldn't blend it. It just didn't look right. But it's definitely the right color. And even from a distance, it looks better. So then I put clear nail polish on the top when it was completely dry just to seal it in and make sure it has like a nice glossy shine, which it did anyway. But this is just one more thing to seal in the little pieces. So that's how it looks. You have to really clump a lot on you know, on the brush just to get it in all the cracks and everything. It looks good. Yeah, I like the hot dogs. They came out nice. Um, and I'm just showing you here where I tried to paint over this a little bit. And I really caked it on, you know, because you don't want it glittery. You just want it to look fuzzy. And I'm just not happy with it. Not going to use it. It definitely is not a good attempt. All right, so here I'm adding the paint over the marker. And this turned out to, to work kind of nicely. I think my hot dogs look a lot better, a lot more realistic. One thing I noticed when I was looking at them, I didn't notice at first, is that they forgot to paint the tip of the hot dog. So I get, or they just painted over the bun color and they painted the tip of the hot dog when they painted the bun so that the end of the hot dog looks like the same color as the bun. So I fixed that. It was the same color, burnt sienna, it just was perfect. And I just, you know, put it really thick on the end of the hot dog there and it stayed. And that way it looks right, looks proper. So I do think it's these teeny tinies are a really good starting place and you just have to do a little work to them to make them look realistic. I love the butter, I love how it turned out. It really looks pretty realistic. So here's everything in its place. This is the rectangular carpet in that skinny bathroom that I made on the balcony of a dollhouse. And it looks pretty good. And unfortunately, I got my naked, one of my Ken dolls in there. Here's the tea set at one of Long Lox's houses that I haven't finished yet. Don't you love that Dawn wall I made? <laughs> And she is inspired to serve a lot of food now that she has the new dishes. 
And I think the flatware is the perfect size. You can see their hand next to it. It's actually absolutely perfect. So this was a good day for Long Locks and her new set of dishes. This is my best friend Rita doll. And she is modeling one of the jean skirts that I got. And you can see how realistic they look. And here's the other jean skirt on another random Barbie. I don't really have a name for her. Um, my Rita is going to have a hot dog and play tennis later. And here's another one of my dolls ready to take Rita on in tennis. And she has the other racket, which I think you can see how well they fit the scale of Barbie. They are absolutely perfect. Here's the tweed outfit on a random Barbie. It is so lovely. I love those buttons and she looks really nice in it. It's just a gorgeous material. Marlo is playing the piano while she stands by. Here's the other carpet in another dollhouse that I have. And here's Skipper. And like I thought, they will only fit Skipper. And they fit Skipper pretty well. So I think overall, out of all my Temu stuff, my favorite is the jean skirt. In fact, both of them. I like both of them a lot. So that's it. That's my Temu haul.